Cheers! It's your boy Fist in his house. Bring another great edition of Black Ops 2 for me to you, because that's what I do. Ground War Domination 9v9, going solo on the map Meltdown, and I'm using a new setup. Uh, it's not a new setup, but I got interrupted, or we kind of went off the path with the video before this one, because I was gonna, I was gonna tell you in the last video before this one that I posted. Because there's a couple things I want to cover in this video. One, uh, I want to cover the the difference between the stock and lightweight, having those two different things in the game with your weapon, and how to um, adjust one for the other to pick up something else that you couldn't use that you need to use so anyways and the other thing is this you know a lot of people do these gun these gun uh, videos like you know there's big names out there who do gun reviews do you know shooting at walls shooting or uh, breaking down everything like that I want to talk about that too I'm gonna get to that in relationship to why this is my very first vector video so in the past, I said something about the vector. I was like, ah, I don't like it. It's you know, for some reason it didn't kill. It only had 32 bullets in a clip. Very slow reload time, and comparative to the other weapons, it just wasn't up to par. You know, why would I use that? Now, since the beginning of the game, things have changed because, as you know, uh, that David Vandehar. Every Sunday, he reviews the algorithms of the weapon, what's doing what, and what percentage, what type of damage. It's all graphed out in the black box, and then they go in and make hotfixes. Since this game has been released, I haven't kept, kept track of the hotfixes, but I don't know what number I used in the, my very first video or put it down in the description, but I'm sure we're probably at our 15th or 20th hotfix, and not including patches. You know, a patch is like going to certification to uh, Xbox, where your first one's free and then the next one's $50,000. But with this new black box system, they can hot, hot fix the game be advised. <clears throat> uh, to change, you know, things slightly to adjust, you know, damage and weapon control, all those things. So the Vector to me wasn't a very good weapon in the beginning. And like I said before in my uh, previous videos, you know, it's important to prestige, because if you're not prestiging, you're you're set in your ways. And if you're set in your ways, Losing and they're a. continuously hot-fixing the game, then you're, you're probably wondering, like, okay, you know, this setup used to be good, now it's not working, AGR and inbound. you don't know where the problem is, or you don't, you're don't you blaming on lag, or something like that. No, it's because they hot-fixed your setup, and the Lightning setup you're using is isn't inbound. the same anymore. They decreased the damage, they decreased the rate of fire. These are the things that when people do these gun reviews on YouTube, they they do it for that moment in time. So when you see them post a video, they need to post in the description which version of the game that they're using. I mean, if they want to be so technical about telling you how this weapon is better than that weapon, at least take the time to put down the hot fix in the bottom of the video. Or you're going to have to go back and backtrack. So that's what I understand. Like, you have to realize that these videos they probably did were our old videos, and you don't even have the hotfix number on the, in the description. So the only way you can cross-reference that video into which they were talking about is that you would have to go back and compare that with the notes on Black Ops blog. Vlog. You know, you had to look at the date and see what they fixed, and okay, that's where that. Things have changed since that point. And that brings me to why I'm using the Vector now. Now, all the weapons have been nerfed down, and the Vector has, hasn't been touched, and things have been changed with the, you know, for me, either the rate of fire or the amount of damage up close per bullet on a person. You know, I don't know what it is, maybe because all the other SMGs have been decreased, but I don't know every thing in the game to cross-reference the uh, patches and the hotfixes. All I know is that I play every day and then as, I, as I'm prestiging I try all the different weapons and then you know just like a pro player or a person who plays this game a lot they would see the differences in the weapon. 
to me, the the vector Good job, is probably ready for the next right round. behind the Evo. I like the vector a lot. I think the vector it far supersedes the M MSMC and the MP7. I think it goes Evo, vector, and then everything else. Hot That's talk. my opinion, based on everyday gameplay, based on hotfixes changing all the time. Now. Going back to the setup. Now this is where I evolved Enemy my game now, um, because of the simple Orbital fact is that standby. people's games have changed. You know their game style Orbital has changed. You online. have a lot of people sitting there throwing C4 grenades. You know they're trying to Sniper. catch people Securing all Bravo. the time. Now if you don't know, you can inbound. take a direct hit from C4. A C4 can land right Bravo on secure. you if you have flak jacket and it won't kill you. That's amazing. I did not know that uh, until like about a week ago. So I was trying to figure out like, okay, I like moving around really fast with lightweight and uh, extreme conditioning and attack alpha. mask. And then I use, uh, then I'll use, let's say scavenger and then you want hard line to get your, to get your streaks really fast. But the thing is, like, UAV what are you going to trade for that one last spot? Losing are you going to do Charlie. lightweight? Are you going to do ghost? Friendly or are you going to do flat So I did two for one. Enemy has C. Since the maps are meeting in the short, okay, most of the maps, here's what you do. Because the vector has Friendly changed over the time Losing in this a. game based on hot fixes, balancing out other weapons Get to over. bring it in line with the other SMGs, in that regard, Friendly is that inbound. the rate of fire on the vector hasn't changed so you're Bravo. still going to get the damage down range and up close now the great thing about this is is Securing that Charlie. now I can rush right in is, and if you're in a rusher you don't want to run into claymores or C4 or stuff like that All flags secured. you have extreme positioning with the tech mask but you don't have the lightweight orders. and you don't really need ghosts because you know if you're it doesn't matter if they have ghosts or not, because a lot of these people are going for high streaks, and nobody uses U UAVs as much anyways, and they raise the, the value on the UAV. So you're not really worried about that. Now, the one thing that you can get away with is putting a stock, and I was talking about this yesterday, variables changing your gameplay. Now you have a stock on your SMG, the vector. It gives you the same type of principal movement as lightweight. So if you got the stock on, you're going to get the same type UAV of maneuverability while ADSing, aiming down the sights, and you're not getting the muzzle flash from the from the uh, silencer. And when you're not getting that, you're getting zero recoil, aiming down the sight, moving side to side as you use as if you're using lightweight with a weapon that is on the same par, if not better, and closest inbound. to the Evo. <laughs> Um, Orbital V set it's on a, standby. It's a phenomenal weapon. It's a great setup. And that's Orbital what I want to tell online. you. Is that the Evo, I mean, the uh, Vector, I overlooked the Vector in the secure. beginning Culture because positions. of the simple fact that, you know, the MSMC and the other SMGs were so much powerful. Enemy you know, took alpha. But now, since the hotfixes came out, they leveled out the playing field for the SMGs. Friendly so, UAV to me, inbound. having a higher rate of fire SMG far supersedes all the weapons that they've nerfed like the MSM MSMC the MP7 the vector you know they've nerfed alpha. all these other SMGs you know that is this inbound. weapon is a gem in the rough you really have to go ahead and try this setup throw the vector on with uh, um, black jacket hardline pro you can use, okay, you, can use uh, you can use toughness or scavenger it's up to you. I like using toughness, really. And then you want to throw on, you want to throw on uh, tactical mask and extreme conditioning with the stock and the silencer, and all those things I explained to you will put you in a great position. And in it, I think it has a little bit more control than the Evo. And it, in being that you have a little bit more control and going from side to side, it's a much deadlier weapon running a solo 9v9 gameplay. So that's my suggestions from you because that's what I do, bring you actualized, 
live gameplay that can transpire over to your gameplay every single day because that's what this does. He gets down, it gets dirty in the trenches for you. I just don't post one video and expect to get 200,000 views on it. And then you come by and like, oh, that must be it. You know, you have to realize there's hot fixes in the game. The game is changing every single day. That's why I think that Black Ops 2 will last just a little bit longer than it usually does past January because of the hot fixes. And I commend Treyarch for doing that. They should hot fix the game more to change it more so people are uh, keep the interest in trying to figure out new gumballs at the bottom of the snow cone uh, euphoria feeling. Until next time, it's your boy Fist. Peace! I'm out. 84 and whatever. I don't know.